Have you ever wondered how products move from a company's warehouse to the customer in SAP? That's where the SAP SD sales and distribution module comes in. SAP SD manages the entire order to cash process, from receiving a customer order to delivering goods and generating an invoice. It's one of the most important modules in SAP because it connects directly to how businesses earn revenue. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to understand the SAP SD module, including what SAP SD actually is, the main components inside SD, the full order to cash process flow, and how it integrates with other SAP modules like MM and FI. By the end of this video, you'll have a complete understanding of how sales and distribution are managed in SAP and why it's one of the most in-demand modules in the market today. Part 2. What is SAP SD? Let's start with the basics. What exactly is SAP SD? SAP SD stands for Sales and Distribution. It's one of the core functional modules in SAP that handles everything related to selling products or services to customers. In simple terms, it manages the entire journey of a sale, from creating a sales order to delivering goods to billing the customer and finally receiving payment. It is part of the logistics suite in SAP and works closely with MM, Materials Management, for inventory and goods movement, FI, Financial Accounting for Posting Invoices and Payments, PP for Production Planning if Products are Made to Order, and WM for Deliveries and Stock Management. So you can think of SAP SD as the front end of the business process. It's where customer interaction begins and where revenue is recorded. Example, imagine a company selling laptops. When a customer places an order, SD creates the sales order. MM ensures stock availability. PP triggers production if needed. And FI handles the billing and accounting. That's how tightly connected SD is with the rest of the SAP ecosystem. Part 3. The Main Components of SAP SD Now that we know what SAP SD does, let's break it down into its main components. The SD module is made up of several subcomponents, each responsible for a specific part of the sales process, one sales. This is where customer orders are created, it includes inquiry, quotation, and sales order management. Example, a customer requests a price. You send a quotation, they confirm, you create a sales order. 2. Shipping and delivery. Once the order is confirmed, SD handles the delivery process. Picking, packing, and goods issue. It ensures that the right product is sent to the right customer on time. 3. Billing after delivery, SD generates invoices and posts them automatically to Financial Accounting FI. This is where revenue is recognized and accounts receivable are updated. For Credit and Risk Management SD also checks customer credit limits and payment histories to reduce financial risks. 5. Pricing The pricing component defines how product prices, discounts, Surcharges and taxes are calculated automatically using condition techniques. 6. Partner functions. This part identifies everyone involved in a transaction. Like sold to party, ship to party, bill to party, and payer. Together, these components make SAP SD a complete solution for handling sales. From the first customer inquiry to the final payment. Part 4. Understanding the order to cash. O2C process in SAP SD. One of the most important things to understand in SAP SD is the order to cash process, also known as O2C. 
This is the complete cycle that starts when a customer places an order and ends when the company receives payment. Let's break it down step by step. 1. Pre-sales activities. This includes inquiries and quotations. It helps the company understand customer needs before confirming an order. 2. Sales order creation. Once the customer agrees, a sales order is created in the system using transaction VA01. The sales order contains details like material, quantity, delivery date, pricing, and shipping address. 3. Availability check and credit check SAP automatically checks if the product is in stock and whether the customer has enough credit limit. 4. Delivery processing. After the order is released, a delivery document is created using VL01N. Here, picking, packing, and goods issue are performed, reducing inventory in the system. 5. Billing next. The invoice is generated using VF01. This updates the accounts receivable in FI and records the revenue for the sale. 6. Payment Processing Finally, when the customer pays, the incoming payment is posted in FI using F28, closing the entire cycle. Summary Order to cash equals inquiry arrow. Sales order arrow delivery arrow. Billing arrow payment. That's how SAPSD ensures a seamless process from order creation to financial completion. Part 5. Integration of SAPSD with MM, FI, and PP. One of the biggest strengths of SAP is integration, and SAPSD is right at the center of it. Let's look at how SD connects with other key modules, MM, FI, and PP. Integration with MM, Materials Management. During delivery in SD when goods are issued to the customer, stock levels in MM are automatically reduced. The system creates a material document that updates inventory. SD also depends on MM for product master data, pricing, and availability. Example, when you post a goods issue for a delivery, SD triggers a movement type 601 in MM, reducing finished goods stock. Integration with FI Financial Accounting When billing is created in SD, it automatically posts accounting entries in FI. The system records revenue, tax, and customer receivable accounts. Payments from customers are also handled in FI, completing the financial side of the sale. Example, invoice created in VF01, automatically post to FI, debit customer, credit sales revenue. Integration with PP, production planning. When a product is made to order, SD triggers a production order in PP. Once production is complete, goods are received back into inventory and then delivered via SD. Example, customer orders a customized machine. SD creates a sales order. PP starts production arrow. MM updates stock. Arrow SD ships product. Arrow F I post invoice. Summary. SAP SD acts like the bridge, connecting customer demand sales with logistics, MM slash PP, and finance, FI. That's why understanding SD integration is crucial for both functional and technical consultants. Part 6. Real-life example. Order to cash in action. Let's make this more practical with a real-life business scenario so you can see how SAP SD works step-by-step -step in action. Scenario, selling smartphones. A company called Technova Electronics sells smartphones using SAP SD. Here's what happens. One customer inquiry. A retailer contacts Technova asking for a quote for 200 smartphones. In SAP, the sales rep creates an inquiry document. Two quotation. The company sends a quotation with the total price and delivery terms. This is created in SAP as a quotation document using VA21. Three sales order. The retailer accepts the offer. A sales order is created using VA01. This document holds all details, 
material code, quantity, price, and delivery date. 4. Delivery Processing The warehouse checks stock and creates a delivery document, VL01N. Goods are picked, packed, and a goods issue is posted. At this point, MM updates inventory, stock reduced. 5. Billing after delivery, an invoice is created in VF01. FI automatically records the transaction. Debit customer, credit sales revenue. 6. Payment receipt. Finally, the retailer pays the invoice. The payment is posted in F28, closing the order to cash cycle. Summary. This is how a complete sales cycle looks in SAPSD. Inquiry, quotation, sales order, delivery, billing, payment. Each step flows seamlessly between SD, MM, and FI, giving the company full control and transparency over its sales process. Part 7. Why SAP SD is so important. Plus, final tips and call to action. Now that you've seen how SAP SD works, let's talk about why this module is so important and how you can use it to build your SAP career. Why SAP SD matters, it directly manages revenue generation, which is the heart of every business. SD is one of the most widely implemented SAP modules worldwide. Almost every company using SAP runs SD. Because it integrates with MM, FI, and PP, SD professionals often gain a full end-to-end -end understanding of business processes. And most importantly, SD skills open doors to multiple roles, from SAP SD consultant to order to cash specialist and solution architect. Final tips. Always focus on understanding the business logic, not just transactions. Practice core processes. VA01, sales order. VL01N, delivery. VF01, billing. Learn how SD interacts with MM and FI it's a big advantage in interviews. Use sandbox systems or demos to simulate the full order to cash cycle. If you found this guide helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more SAP training videos, and comment below if you'd like me to start a full SAP SD configuration series. This is just the beginning. In the next videos, we'll explore master data, pricing conditions, and the order to cash configuration in detail. Thanks for watching, and welcome to the world of SAPSD exclamation mark.